So we just ran this diesel out of fuel, or at least we think so. It stopped running and we gotta get it out because it's blocking the road. So let's go ahead and troubleshoot this and fix it. You wanna fill the tank up until it's higher than the highest point where air can go. This is a five gallon container and five gallons should be enough for this tractor. So when you're pouring the fuel, if you get it going in a spiral, the air is still able to breathe, so it drains a lot quicker. Now you can go ahead and check it with the dipstick. You can see that's a lot more full, and it should be high enough. The highest point where it can go is on these injectors. So you wanna make sure that the fuel in the tank is higher than the injectors. So on top of the fuel filter, there's a bolt right here. If you take that out, or just loosen it up a little bit, the air and gravity from the pressure of the fuel will push the air out. And you can see the fuel coming out of it right now. So once it bleeds the, some of that air out, go ahead and tighten it back up. Now on the fuel pump itself, you wanna make sure that you get the air out of this too. So we're going to crank it to get the air to the fuel injectors and build pressure in the system so we can bleed them out. So let's go ahead and loosen up the injector and you'll hear and see some of the bubbles whenever you loosen it. And there went the bubbles. Now go ahead and crank it closed. Now that we have the air bled out of the injector, we're gonna go ahead and crank it again to build the pressure. Just keep repeating the process until you have all the air out. So after cranking it and bleeding the air out of the injectors a bunch of times, go ahead and crank it and see if it starts. Air in here, so you wanna run it until all that air is out. So as you can see, it's a lot harder to get the tractor started again than a gasoline engine whenever you run a diesel out of fuel. So the moral of the story is, don't run your engine out of diesel fuel. We had to crank it about 20 times and bleed the injectors out about 20 times, which took a while. So I hope this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.